Seven decades ago, a nuclear blast shook the barren desert of southeast New Mexico. It was the first of its kind and played a pivotal role in ending World War II. Today, some went to admire the spot where that explosion took place, while others made the trip to make a plea for help. News 13's Cole Miller reports. The effects could well be called unprecedented, magnificent, beautiful, stupendous, and terrifying. No man-made phenomenon of such tremendous power had ever occurred before. Brigadier General Thomas Farrell, 1945. Three, two, one. Seventy years ago, scientists from Los Alamos developed the atomic bomb. It was tested further south on the White Sands Missile Range in Socorro County, now famous as the Trinity Site. This is where history was made. And today, thousands and thousands, crowds of people showed up to get a glimpse of that history. My impression of this place has been really good. The testing that was done here affected life everywhere on Earth because this was the first place where the atomic bomb was tested. And Are you good? A monument now stands at ground zero and here's what's left of a tower vaporized in the blast. Visitors only get two chances a year to stop by. Aside from the monument here and the history and the thousands of visitors flocking to see it, there's another story. The story of the downwinders or the people living in the Tularosa Basin. I was here when that bomb was detonated. Wesley Burris was just five years old. And I can remember being woken up that morning. He lived only 25 miles from the explosion. And then the light was so bright it hurt your eyes. His baby brother was right in the path. Well, he wound up with bone cancer before he was 15 years old. And today he has radiation cancer all over his body. Doris Budris shares a similar story. She too has cancer. We were downwind of, of this bomb. Oh, no one was warned ahead of time that this was coming. The fallout from this bomb lasted for days, days on end. At the Trinity site entrance, they made it clear they're living with that fallout. Now they want the government to pay up. I don't know that there's any amount of money that's going to compensate for you know, what I've been through. Very different views of a very important place. In Socorro County, Cole Miller, KRQE, News 13. The morning of that explosion, Army officials told New Mexicans a munitions storage area accidentally blew up near Alamogordo. Your next chance to visit will be October 3rd.